Hello everyone, my name is Bennett and I'm the host avatar. Great, and Bennett, I believe you are familiar with Angie, so I'm going to step away and let you uh, have a conversation with her. Great, so do you prefer Angie or Angela? You know, I'm pretty impartial about that, Bennett, and thank you for asking. Okay, great. Well, if it's okay, I'll go ahead and call you Angela. Okay. So Angela, I'm going to get you to Linda, who you've already met. Mm -hmm. um, there is one piece, which is often we share a slide and walk through it. And I saw there was a specialty slide that is not something I have access to at this time. Did we need to talk okay. about the scenario you're about to do a little bit? Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and embrace imperfection here and embrace my nervousness to do this in front great. of a whole lot of people. Okay, so great. Yeah, I'm okay. We can, we can, we can talk to Linda. Wonderful. I'll just say one thing just for anyone listening. Basically, Linda is a sometimes challenging employee who sometimes is so passionate about her work that she can may deliver feedback to other employees on the spot in public. And it's, you know, becoming a little bit of an issue. Sound good? Yeah. What did Linda, what, what's her issue? Why is she in my office this time? So she's in your office because she would like to talk to you with about Lee who is someone okay. she works with a lot and she is having some communication issues with him. Okay. Great. The last piece I'll say before I disappear and get you to Linda is Angela. Anytime you can say pause or end simulation. At that point, I'll return to see if you would like to reflect or if you would like to go back into the simulator or move on with the presentation. It's up to you. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Linda. Hi, Angela. I'm so glad you're in. We need yeah. to talk about Lee. Yeah, tell me what's going on. Well, what's going on is I'm really struggling with him a lot. We had a communication breakdown at the end of last week. Um, I had to pick up the slack when he dropped the ball. And Angela, are you going to look at me? Yep, absolutely. Are you, are I'm you taking, taking some, notes? I am taking some notes because this is a really important conversation. Okay. And I want to make sure that I give it my full attention. Okay, well, thanks All for right. that. Yeah. Okay, so you said that there was a breakdown in communication last mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. Okay, please, please continue. Well, so he and I have been working on this really high stakes project, and I will say he's been doing a great job. But mm -hmm. at the last minute, the client wanted something done. It fit the work he was doing. I didn't want to repeat it. When I reached out to him by calling him, going by his desk, I simply could not get in touch with Lee. I ended up doing it myself. And so this happened Thursday afternoon, and then Friday morning, I walked into the break room, and there's Lee. He's like hanging out by the water cooler, talking about a funny cat video. So I gave mm -hmm. him direct feedback and left the room. Okay. <sighs> you gave him direct feedback while he was in the, in the break room? Yes. Yeah. So I'll say that I'm hearing a lot of frustration. You mm. sound frustrated. Is that accurate? Yeah. Very yeah. accurate. Yeah. Uh, and so I just want to make sure that I understand what was going on. So you, t you're saying that there was a client that wanted something different, a client asked for something different mm -hmm. and you reached out to Lee to, to execute that. Right. I mean, okay. so it's basically they accelerated an item and it was, it fit the work he did for them. Um, okay. I didn't want to duplicate or take that time if we didn't need to, but he never got back to me. Okay. Is there anything else going on between you and Lee, or is this is this a common issue, or is this something new between the two of you? Well, we've been struggling for a couple of months now. Okay. Um, you know, he's very indirect. I'm very direct, but mm. he won't really respond unless I'm smiling and making small talk. And well, it feels yeah. unfair to me. I don't see him asking any of the guys on the team to be like that. Yeah. So, you know, I, I can appreciate that. A lot of us have different styles. And I think the reason you and I get along is because we're both direct, mm -hmm. right? I mean, yes. we don't beat around the bush when you come in here. We didn't have to do small talk when you walked in. I asked you what was going on. And so I want to make sure that I'm respecting that and that I'm direct as well. Okay. So I'm going to ask a question. How do you think it made Lee feel to be given feedback in a break room in front of peers? Well, I guess, I guess it wasn't the best thing to do, it, even though it felt right at the time. Um, I get it. He's not talking to me right now, Angela. Yeah. 
I get that. I, I'm, it's rough when someone shuts down, you know, and that's a defense mechanism. That's a defense mechanism when someone shuts down. So I have, I have been frustrated with coworkers in my life as well. And I have said things that, you know, I'm not always proud of afterwards. And so when these things happen, you know, we're, there's going to be issues in the workplace. When these things happen, it's about what do we do after they happen? So would you like to brainstorm with me on how we can get back to connecting with Lee? You know, sure. what, what accountability, what accountability can we take? Cause I've done it. I sent emails when I'm mad. And I remember walking down the stairs to tell my boss at the time that I had sent an email when I was mad, but he had already gotten the email by the time I had walked down the stairs. And okay. so, yeah. So I had to reach out to that coworker and tell him I was angry when I sent that email. This isn't really about you. This is something else that's happening. You said a word that triggered me. And so how can we resolve this with Lee? Well, you know, I trust you. You're a smart person. Right. Well, I mean, the first thing I guess is maybe I should apologize. I mean, for giving him that feedback in the break room. He's not mm -hmm. talking to me, so I could. The other thing I'd like to do is see if maybe I can figure out what's going to make him happy at work, uh, comfortable communicating, because what we're doing right now isn't working. Yeah. And if that's something you'd like me to be a part of, I'm willing to do that. If you'd like to have a conversation, the three of us, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I can be there to back you up and also back Lee up because I think we all ultimately have the same goal, which is to make our clients happy and to also enjoy our workspace. Yeah. So we can figure that out together. That would be really great, Angela. That would be really okay. helpful. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. All right. I think end simulation. <sighs> Man, that girl stresses me out. Nice job, Angela. So this Thank is where you. we would do reflection. So let me know what you'd like to do next. Uh, uh, you know what, Bennett? How about we let Angela share a little bit about that experience and talk about how it works and why it works? Because I would like to then open it up. Once We'll give everybody a little peek behind yeah. the curtain. So don't tell okay, them, great. but I'm going to share a little. Uh, and then we'll see if somebody might want to jump in and experience this for themselves. And I would love yeah. to let them have that full experience. And we'll do the feedback um, at that point, if that yeah. works.